people and welcome back to part 21 of the city's skylines build guide hope you enjoyed the city tour last episode uh, i find it quite nice to recap on a bunch of things that we've done and for those of you that may have missed it uh, we have made a couple of amendments to the cargo hub uh, just off camera we now have a little bit of office space uh, along a one-way road here and then we also have a new train station in which is getting a little bit of use um, no, 22 and 14 on one train, which obviously isn't ideal for train transport. Um, but this line will become increasingly busy as it heads off in this direction uh, towards the downtown area. And you've probably guessed by the title of today's episode, uh, we are going to begin planning that downtown today. So we're probably going to split this up into a couple of episodes. Uh, may maybe two, three, even four. And the first one is going to be planning out the road network because you really, you know, like when we started the city over here, we just kind of drew a road and then put some zoning on it and then drew another road and some more zoning. When you come to building your downtown in the city, you really don't want to be doing that because you are going to end up with all sorts of problems that you didn't pre-plan for. So today's episode and inspiration slash tutorial mechanic of this series is going to be based at mapping out the beginning of your downtown area so let's go have a look at what i've got to work with so i have bought this new tower now you can see where the boundary was here and we have this enormous space to work with and uh, we do also need to bear in mind connections further down this line as the downtown will expand over here and then into this little kind of cove bay area that we've got going on uh, alongside crossing over the river into the other side of the banking as well so let's have a look at our infographics if we come down to this little icon here we can have a look at terrain heights and this is just going to highlight nicely uh, just how uneven your terrain actually is so you can see we've got a few little lumps and bumps here this is nothing major we're fine to work with that however we do have a big hill here which isn't particularly great so to try and plan for that i'm going to just go ahead and level terrain and by right clicking we're going to set the height and then when we left click, we're just going to go ahead and set that height to whatever the height was when we left clicked on it. So I'm just going to kind of map out this area all as one height, just so we know what we're working with. Let's come up to about here as well. And uh, we'll take a fair bit of this mountain out. Now don't worry, we won't leave it looking like that, because obviously that's a very kind of severe cliff. Um, but we don't really want it to look that unnatural. Now, obviously, when we do eventually build some kind of alpine ski resort, uh, this will be a really nice place to use some cable cars, maybe, uh, and come into this. So, let's have a look at what we've got. Uh, let's go ahead and undo that. Uh, let's kind of push this back and then smoothen all this edge out that borders the highway just so it isn't as severe and we can have a look in terrain heights again now uh, we are looking at a much smoother transition and Primo's world has leveled up fantastic news so uh, what I want to do first is just, we're just going to use one of the vanilla highway assets for now uh, this one right here the three-way intersection uh, so by placing this um, within these two little boundaries here we're going to give our citizens a way into the downtown area uh, so I'm thinking we'll probably place it here. So let's go ahead and pause the game. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and break the highway. Uh, that probably will be enough. No, just a little bit too short. Let's knock it back just a touch further. See, these things can be a little bit finicky to place. Let's kind of get a nice bird's eye view and try and line this up uh, as best as possible. Let me say about there seems good. Okay, so that's going to be one way into the downtown area. And of course, don't forget uh, just to connect your highway routes back up. Just simply draw these back in. And as you press flow, people will begin to flow through the new intersection. Feel free to go ahead and build your own. Um, there are a lot of these on the Steam Workshop. Uh, if you go ahead to most subscribed items, there are some really nice looking interchanges. But for right now, uh, this is going to do the job uh, for what we need. However, I don't want this to be the only way into downtown because that means that this intersection here is going to become majorly busy. Because if you're thinking about your downtown area, you know, there's got a lot of sims that live there and there's a lot of sims that also work there as well. 
Uh, so I'm kind of thinking, I want an easier way for people on this side of town and this side of town to maybe get into the downtown without having to follow the main highway uh, that is coming. And just having a look at this highway now from bird's eye view, uh, we've got a lot of really cool looking interchanges. This place is really busy and uh, it's starting to look pretty nice. So from this little roundabout over by Primrose World, our amusement park and the, uh, the green area housing, I'm thinking maybe off of this roundabout here, I'm just going to have a little six lane road. Uh, that's going to come up probably to there and then let's go ahead and get a little bit of a curve on and kind of bring this guy uh, as parallel as possible let's go ahead and delete this so we have enough room to come through and then there we go just through there and then we'll bring him Kind of coming up alongside this road like that a little bit further so that's going to kind of give us one other connection point to work out so a real good tip for designing your downtown areas um, is just to keep zooming out and kind of see how things are starting to look and you'll you'll soon be able to get um, a decent feel for it so what i'm thinking is I'm going to work with a road that we very rarely use in city skylines and these are the six lane one way roads so it's this road here except it is just one way obviously these are six lane two ways so cars can come up and down either way but um i wonder if we can actually draw in uh, a little bit of a connection here maybe that'll probably be a good spot for people to connect up to as well uh, maybe here Yeah, but well, let's make that just the regular one. So that'll give people different access connections. So I'm going to try and plan out. Oh, there's actually a, a car using that. That's quite handy. Um, so I want to kind of plan out uh, a frame, first of all. So I'm going to start with the middle and kind of work outwards to make sure that I don't leave myself uh, not enough room within the middle. So I think the decorative grass ones look pretty sweet. Uh, let's go ahead and try and work with these. So this point here uh, is round about the middle of the tile. So let's go up here. So a nice big long straight road like that. And then again we will mimic that on the other side. See how close we can get. Probably to leave a one block gap in the middle. That should be okay. And then I'm going to come back and grab our other six lane road again. And then maybe let's knock this guy back up to here. And then I'm just going to snake him uh, round and down like this. And then let's actually go ahead uh, and just leave a marker in uh, for what we want to do here. Okay. Uh, and then let's try our best just to snake this guy in. There we go. As smooth as possible. Okay. So I do want this freight area to be pretty close to the downtown. And there is an enormous fire. Oh no! Put it out, firemen. The children are burning. No! Oh well, it will grow back eventually. Don't worry about it, it's just another fire in the city. It always happens here. Okay, and let's bring this guy down. Uh, then what I'm going to do, I do want this guy to eventually uh, flow over the highway here. Go ahead and draw a road out here so I know where I'm snapping to. There we go. Okay, then we can delete that. And then I'm just going to have this guy uh, come up and over the highway. There we go, and he can flow over here. So we'll leave him there right now, and that's just going to give us a reminder that that is what we are actually doing uh, with that little bit of road there. 
uh, and then we can come ahead and draw these guys out uh, just so we've got a nice little bridge starting to form and that'll be a nice little entryway into the city as well uh, I think let's have a little zoom out and see what we're working with right now okay so that's not too bad I don't think so these two-way roads um, well one-way roads rather uh, are going to serve as kind of um, a real main vein of this city and how we eventually uh, come to use them. There won't be too much zoning along these. There'll be kind of decorative park roads uh, that allow citizens to move throughout the city um, as they please. Now I kind of want to have them split off up here as well. So let's go ahead and grab these. Um, okay, so I think probably here is actually a good point to curve them. Uh, let's bring them out by 20. And then I'm going to scoop them up by 20 again so we get a nice smooth curve and of course it would help if I used the right road uh, no that was the right way I also want to make sure we are still playing with right hand drive here um, yeah because I have got these uh, the wrong way around uh, of course Make sure that we keep that in fashion, otherwise that's going to cause us problems later down the line. And then again, let's come out. And just find that sweet spot. There we go. Okay. And then these guys will eventually head off, so remember what I said about uh, leaving for future planning. These guys are gonna go off in this direction uh, and they will eventually uh, head off into the cove over here uh, and then probably join up with the highway uh, at some point as well. So again, you just think about that's gonna give uh, our citizens uh, many different ways of moving around, uh, which is gonna be useful for them. Okay, so I've just been kind of thinking about what I wanna do uh, with this space here. We've got kind of a natural corner here to work with so let's kind of try and do something uh, with this here so again keep into that style of uh, playing with frames I'm going to come ahead and try and do something off this main road right now so again whilst it's here we'll keep this on the way have a little cross in there and this guy's going to come out I think I'd like it on an angle Probably up to there. And let's have him coming out to there like that. Okay. So what we're doing here is just kind of planning out uh, the main streets of the downtown. And you'll kind of just see uh, where they do and don't flow. So now I'm going to switch to I know it's a slightly smaller road. Yeah, I'll leave it as a smaller road, I think. Uh, she has some nice roads here, I think. We'll, uh, we'll keep this place looking as fancy as possible. Straight down like that to connect up to that way. Again, it's giving more people, uh, well, more access to the people of the city. And then again here, probably a road through the middle, I would imagine. Um, right to there and then maybe a little bridge uh, would look pretty sweet here as well Remember, keep coming out by five uh, and then go up an elevation step using your page up and down buttons uh, and then we'll eventually be able to flow uh, straight over okay uh, and then we'll do the same again uh, coming down the other side so 
just bring it all the way down. Too bad. Then we'll leave that there just for right now. So we know that that bridge is to go somewhere else. Okay, not looking too bad at the moment. Uh, I think right down the middle here. Let's go ahead and fill this in now. Uh, I'm going to have um, a bicycle path uh, through the middle. Maybe actually, no, we'll leave the bicycle path for the outsides. And I think we'll have a nice um, decorative walking path uh, right up through the middle here. Just like that. So again, you know, it's giving that really nice theme uh, of importance. I mean, it is obviously right next to uh, the sidewalk anyway, but you know, it's it looks nice to have the trees flowing through the middle down like that. So I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's have a little look. Actually, guys, I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and play uh, off camera with uh, a few ideas at the moment. Uh, and just kind of come back to you when I've figured out what it is that I want to do with this. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, so I think we're going to kind of expand in something of a grid shape right now. I'm going to bring this guy along here. Then I'm going to have very few connections on this road. And kind of most of the zoning off this road here. So I think we'll switch to... Regular falling here, I think. And let's bring it down like that. And then up here. And straight the way up like that. And I think I might actually play with a little bit uh, of an express road using the two way highways uh, that are going to kind of flow around here. This guy's going to come up. Obviously, there'll be no zoning along this road here. This is just, you know, if you don't want to stop at all the traffic lights and kind of deal with the zoning then you have like a little express road uh, and I'll probably keep this going uh, around the edge of the city so let's kind of map this out right now so we don't forget you know we do want a little bit of um, an express ring road that people can uh, latch onto at several different points around the city and um, I think that'd be pretty sweet okay so then we can see that nice grid uh, pattern that is beginning to form right now. So let's go ahead and bring this road up. Uh, drill out there. And then switch to another road uh, up to this point. And again, this guy is going to... I think I'll have him branch off at a... A slightly different angle uh, for him to come out at the other side okay so let's go ahead and just reinstate that path and then down to here as well so people will still be able to get onto that you might think that these intersections are really small um, but they'll they, they will be okay you know don't worry about it it might get to a point where these intersections might need replacing with a roundabout maybe but um you know i'm not sure how uh, i feel about that just yet okay so we need to bear in mind uh these two connections here as to where people will be entering and exiting the city so i think we'll have them enter and exit at two separate points so let's go ahead and connect these up right now. now let's go have the highway. Uh, make it a little bit shorter. And then I want this guy to... Let's go ahead and just drop in a road so we know where we're snapping to. Uh, and then right there. There we go. That's not particularly straight. Let's try that again. Uh, let's go for the curved road actually. There we go, that looks a little better. Uh, and then we'll switch back to the six lane roads, uh, six lane one way actually. Uh, and connect them up there. So that's just going to allow people to flow in. Uh, and then they can disperse throughout the city as they see fit. Uh, and then probably this lane right here. 
Uh, we'll keep this as a two-way. Uh, and then let's go ahead and drag this guy out. And then I'm going to grab the highway again. And come out on a bit of straight banking. Uh, and then we'll connect. Up like that. And then just remember to change the direction. And that's going to allow the highway to nicely transition uh, into what is the downtown area. Let's have a little look at the hill here now. See how we're faring. It's not too bad. Uh, I think we'll have a junction on this road. Uh, we might end up deleting that. I'll see how it fares because it is so close to the highway exit. Uh, but the traffic flow here should be enough to uh, just allow people to almost stagger into the downtown rather than letting them constantly flow. Uh, it'll be nice to have um, a little set of traffic lights there, I think. Okay, so let's come up again here. Uh, and we'll transition to a two-lane road here, I think. And just kind of map out uh, how we want the rest of this road to look. Now, with this road here, uh, I have not forgotten about you. Let's bring you back down to earth again. My bridgey friend. Also guys, why I'm building this, thank you very much for the subscriptions recently. You guys have been smashing the subscribes. Uh, I am now up to 172 at the recording of this video, uh, which is absolutely mind-blowing. Thank you so much. So again, this is just going to function as an almost slower ring road um, around the edge of the town. Uh, we'll, we'll keep that in mind. Can we connect up to here without any snapping problems? Uh, no, but we can there. That'd be a nice little bend. So you know, if you don't want to fight through your town with all the traffic, you've got a nice unzoned road, uh, similar to how this ring road is going to function, uh, that runs around the edge alongside the mountain, and again that will probably eventually hook up with the highway uh, at some point over there again as well. Okay, let's bring some more zoning uh, into this one over here, let's go for some normal roads, I'm just going to keep the roads kind of as mixed as possible. Some more connections here. And let's bring this guy a little further up just so we can snap on. A, maybe let's go for a tunnel here, I think. Uh, let's kind of change it up from the, the old bridges. Uh, so we are coming out to five. Uh, underneath. And then out by 10 again. That's going to give us a nice little bridge. Let's go ahead and clear out the trees uh, from here. Uh, I don't want any trees in this area uh, for right now. Just so we can kind of see what we are playing with. Okay, so we've got a nice little bridge there now. So if you guys don't appreciate this kind of episode, this is, uh, this is really kind of focusing on how you would plan your infrastructure uh, for City Skylines. Um, as opposed to just, you, know, you, you have to do this at some point in your city. Uh, snap onto there. We'll probably, we'll probably have one connection here, I imagine. Let's cross over the road and then up to there. And this guy can probably head straight up uh, and snap onto the ring road as well. Uh, and let's kind of work on some. So this is... This is pretty central, isn't it? And it has good access connections. It's right by the highway. Um, it has access onto these main roads that are flowing through. So I think we'll probably make this one of the transport hubs um, into, the, into the city. So we probably need to plan that in advance as to how our trains are going to flow in. I wonder. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and turn this out now. Remember, we're not doing any buildings today. We are just focusing on infrastructure. Broad Hills is not the name. So, the other transport hub is going to focus over on the other side of the island. Um, yeah, we won't have two on this side. 
So we'll get to covering transport hubs eventually. I have done a tutorial on how you can build a transport hub, um, but this thing is going to be significantly bigger than that. Um, but you know that one will still work if you guys want to use it. Um, but we'll leave that big square there as our transport hub. Uh, let's kind of match up some more zone in here. Right, straight onto that ring road again. Uh, and then again, let's hook up this guy into the, the tunnel. There can be a nice little slipway there. And then... Let's bring in a road um, and kind of map out the road network within the transport hub. So we'll have some nice fancy roads here as people arrive into the city. I definitely want some kind of one-way road uh, feeding out. So we'll connect them up to there. And that's going to give them easy access back onto the highway should they want to leave the downtown area. Uh, let's bring him up to there. And we can connect him up again. Just like that. Uh, and then he can connect up to there as well. So you may have put in some nice parks and stuff here. Uh, alongside a bus station maybe. Uh, the majority of the stuff, kind of, you know, the big uh, bulky stuff will remain uh, within the trains and stuff here. Big uh, kind of these train stations. Um, you know, these big gigantic ones will be uh, residing along here. So if we're looking to place that uh, about there, I'm going to want a road coming in to kind of imagine where the trains would be spanning to. Probably in that direction, I imagine, to head off over there and then over there. So that would probably be the easiest way to factor the trains in. Not sure. We'll leave that big space empty for right now. And then maybe we can have a look at a, a bus station in here as well. What else have we got to work with? Uh, obviously, definitely Metro will be in here. Uh, planes, not for right now. Monorail is definitely something I want to incorporate into the downtown area. So we have a monorail train hub. That could be pretty sweet. There's also a bus hub, uh, which we can connect on to several points. Uh, there will be buses, or will there be buses? I'm just trying to think of what would be the best transport. Monorail Metro train. That is really appealing to me. Uh, it really is. Okay. I'll have a thing about that off camera. Get your suggestions. I'll tell you what, that is the question of the video. What trans what main public transport method do you want to see within the downtown area? So choose between buses, trams, monorails, um, metro, or that's pretty much it. You can't really use trains for short distance, but uh yeah, let get your comments down below and we'll um we'll see what you guys want to do. Okay. Go ahead and have a little look about what we're doing over here. Okay. I think we can probably afford another connection uh, onto the road here. That is pretty straight, isn't it? Here it is. Uh, and again, he will cross over and into the transport hub. Let's upgrade this one. Okay, and let's reinstate our path before I forget. There we go. All right. So, what do I want to lie within this region? I think we'll use some small old roads here uh, and kind of come in at an angle like this. Have some in there. Uh, 
then we'll have a little bit of one-way flow uh, as well I imagine just like that so we can do something with the tiles in there we'll see how that begins to look uh, these guys in here are probably okay right now okay let's bring some more road network in here just like that hmm okay We need to do something here as well, don't we? Uh, let's upgrade that road here. Let's connect them back onto uh, the outer road there. And I think we'll have a little uh, one-way trigger uh, through there like that. So again, you know, all the traffic here is flowing in one direction. There's no one turning on each other. Um, may also be worth making this a one way I wonder probably is so again now there is no traffic lights here uh, and they have various different directions to go ahead and flow off into so we'll see how that looks okay so this side is coming together rather nicely have a look what we've got going on over here. Uh, let's continue this road out and then this one here as well from the tunnel. Let's see, can we get him to snap onto that uh, without having to move him any further? Probably not. I'm going to have a little bit of an angle there. I don't mind that. Uh, let's upgrade him as well. Okay, so again, you know, it's all about planning out your larger veins. Suppose you would treat your city kind of like a body. You know, you want to have the vein, have like the arteries first, and then the veins, and then the smaller like capillaries. Just kind of imagine how citizens are going to flow through. It will take you a while to get it right. Um, but once you do have it sorted, uh, it will look really sweet in the end. Okay. Let's have a few more connections onto the ring road here. a little bit of curvature there we go we're going to just make sure that our main road here isn't getting too busy and we don't want too many people flowing through this well we do want too many people we just don't want too many connections uh, is the conundrum we are faced with uh, let's have it down here on 260 maybe have a little bit of symmetry uh, come along here straight down there we've got some nice uh, opportunities for zoning here alongside some smaller roads uh, maybe we can make a little something out of this zone here maybe uh, one of the stadiums would work nicely here the American football stadium and um, how are we doing for space and that's a little too big for that, isn't it? Ever so slightly, though, only just. Okay, well, we could break this connection. And that would allow us to make a little bit of a, a theme for our stadium, which is really close to the transport hub as well, which would be nice. 
We have a little bit of a bump there, don't we? Okay. Now let's kind of round off this section here. And then that'll probably do it, guys, for planning out the first kind of uh, blocks of the downtown area. I do really enjoy building downtowns, but uh, sometimes you find uh, it can be hard to get uh, inspired for them, uh, which can end up being a little bit of a shame. Uh, and then again, this road here, um, I'm going to have as just a little bypass road uh, onto the highway. The little ring road if they want one. But yeah, that is going to do it for... I must wonder if we should connect him uh, up to here. Uh, this road is a little bit janky. Let's go ahead and correct that. Uh, there we go. Uh, and this can be demolished as well. So I don't think I want to connect it up to this. Because if we do, we're going to get people using this road. Um, to flow down to here and this is really just for resident uh, industrial vehicles um they do have this option here but you know it's a lot faster for them to take the highway from this side of the town uh, so we'll we'll see how that goes uh, and probably we'll have some uh, tree uh, markers up here as well is there a reason that my uh, tool has disappeared. I'm not sure. It's very strange or my um, mod interface seems to have disappeared. Okay guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. Thank you very much indeed for watching. If you enjoyed the video, a like below is very much appreciated. Equally as much if you don't like this. I understand a lot of you won't. This is very infrastructure heavy. Then please feel free to leave a dislike as well. Hope you guys are liking the design so far. Uh, I certainly am. And we even have a car using the ring road right now. Looks like that's a garbage truck. Uh, it looks as though he's going to be getting onto the highway. He seems to be taking the long way around. Uh, driving around a very strange road network for him, I'm sure. Uh, enjoy the little outro pan. See if you can take this in. Uh, don't forget to let me know what public transport method you guys want predominantly throughout the city. Uh, I'm really keen to hear what you guys want to use here. Otherwise, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.